Enemy satcom spotted. Hey everyone, it's Random, and today I have for you guys another KEM strike. So this is the third KEM strike that I've uploaded so far. I think in total right now I've had around 7 or 8 KEM strikes. And it usually takes me 2 or 3 days to a week to get into the swing of getting KEM strikes on a consistent basis. And that's just because I have to learn all the maps, where to play on the map to get the KEM strikes, and what places to avoid, and what guns are best. Uh, for each map as well so it takes me a while to figure all this stuff out but once you get into the swing of it it's so much fun to play because I was playing for two or three hours yesterday and I had like five or six uh, 20 gun streaks or higher and I think I died one off and got a KM strike as well uh, in the space of like two hours two and a half hours so I was having some really really decent games and I was absolutely dominating everybody that I was playing and it just takes me a while to get used to the maps and once you figure them out you're gonna do really well and you can get constant KM strikes all the time and this one I get right here is a four and a half minute KM strike with the AK-12 uh, which is an absolute boss of a gun on by the way if you haven't used this AK-12 I definitely recommend you try it out because it's one of the best guns if not the best for getting KM strikes and just generally playing on this game because it's so good from every distance and because it's an assault rifle it's got range as well which is awesome and this is the one I've had the most KM strikes so far with I think I've had three or four of this gun and then the rest have been like the MSBS and uh, I think I've got one with a Vespa, is it the Vespa assault uh, SMG or something like that uh, but generally my best gameplays come with this gun so I definitely recommend you try it out and in this game I actually got a 34 gun streak and I love going on gun streaks in this game because if you're using Deadeye it's like the best perk in the world uh, because if you get to like a 20 gun streak you every kill you get Deadeye is going to be playing a part in it because as soon as you get to that high Deadeye works all the time and you drop people so quickly it's insane and when I got to like 28 to 29 kills with this class I was dropping people so quickly it's ridiculous I think every other hit marker was using Deadeye and I could literally just walk around a corner into the entire enemy team and I'd have a good chance of killing them because I was just dropping them all so quickly it was ridiculous but I did eventually die because I was playing too aggressive but I didn't really make that much of a, dis a difference uh, because all I wanted to do was get the KEM strike and today I want to talk to you guys about Call of Duty Ghosts because it's just been under a week since I got this game I got it at the midnight release on the Tuesday last week and I didn't really want to give you guys my opinion on it on the first day because it can change very very quickly you can really enjoy it on the first day and then hate it for the rest uh, but now it's been a week I want to give you guys my opinion on this game and I absolutely love this game I know a lot of people are disliking it because of the big maps uh, but once you get used to them trust me it's an amazing game to play and I really really enjoy going for KM strikes in this game it's a lot more fun to play for me than Modern Warfare 3 because my opinion tends to be a lot different to everybody else's because I used to think Black Ops 2 was better than Modern Warfare 3 and I still do uh, but obviously a lot of people think the complete opposite and think uh, Mon uh, Black Ops 2 is a really really bad game but for me it was awesome and so I, I can understand why a lot of people dislike this game but for me if you learn the maps you're gonna do really well and really enjoy this game and I like how there's big maps in this game I still dislike Stonehaven because it's too big but I do like the change in having bigger maps in this game because if you think back to all the older Call of Duty's it was pretty much the same thing every time people just find the best SMG on the game like the MP7 in Modern Warfare 3 or the MSMC in Black Ops 2 or even the UMP in Modern Warfare 2 and people would just use that gun over and over because it was the best gun in the game and it was just the same thing every lobby you played people would just rush in with the best gun uh, best SMG and there was loads of SMGs which are more powerful than any other gun but in this game because there's small maps and big maps you can use SMGs and shotguns on the smaller ones and then the bigger ones you use assault rifles and LMGs and snipers and it's just good fun to play because you see so many different guns being used and all the guns in this game are balanced which is awesome just like they were in Black Ops 2 
And that's exactly what you want is balanced guns because it just makes the gun, uh, sorry, the gun, the game so much more fun to play. And I absolutely love the perks in this game as well because I know a lot of people like uh, dislike the fact that there's so much variety in the game because they just want it simple like it was in Modern Warfare 1. But for me, I'm the complete opposite. I like having so much change because you can just have like 20 different specialist setups, uh, well, more than 20, and you can just have so many different perks on at the same time and you can keep changing it for each gun and it just makes it really really enjoyable to play and there's so much variety it's amazing and the thing I love the most about this game is the connections because I've never seen a Call of Duty game out there especially on release uh, week uh, where the connections are so smooth because it's so much fun to play when the connections are more even it's more down to how good you are as a player and it just makes it so much more fun to play because I know that I'm a good player and generally if I join a lobby I do well, obviously there's lobbies where I do bad because uh, there's better people out there, uh, but generally if I'm, because I'm a good player and the connections are good, I'm going to do a lot better than I generally do on Call of Duty, uh, but anyway guys if you enjoyed this gameplay please leave a like rating, I really appreciate the support and I'm going to leave it here and I will see you later, goodbye.